This is my GoPro. It's my GoPro Hero 10 that I've had for a couple of years since upgrading from the Hero 7. And I've been using GoPros ever since the Hero 2 came out and my dad bought it when we used to race motocross and been using GoPros ever since then. So GoPros are notorious for just kind of bugging out and freaking out on people and even dying. My friend Owen, his GoPro just died on him and also my friend Tom's, but I haven't had any real trouble with GoPro ever. I, I guess you could say I've gotten lucky with my GoPros. They've never really freaked out on me. Like here and there, yeah, I've lost some footage. The GoPro over heated and the footage corrupted but other than that I have had some pretty good luck with GoPro and with all the new action cameras coming out I haven't really had a big reason to switch from GoPro over to say DJI or something like that or even upgrade from the 10 to the 12 because not much is really changing until the Insta360 Ace and Ace Pro lineup was announced and it actually was announced when I was in hospital getting my collarbone surgery done and then in there in the hospital from watching all the videos I was hooked and I was finally making the big decision to switch from GoPro over to Insta360. And then funnily enough, in the next couple of weeks, Insta360 actually hit me up and sent me out their new Insta360 Ace Pro. With a bunch of extra little accessories, we've got the motorcycle bundle, screen protector, a helmet chin mount, which I'm not sure if I'm going to need to use because my helmet already has a chin mount on it from chin mounts, and a 128 gigabyte SD card. So in this video, we're going to be getting my first impressions of the Insta360 Ace Pro from switching from a GoPro after a very long time. So Insta360 did send me this camera, but as I just explained, I was already interested in buying this camera myself. But before I could do so, they sent it out to me, which I am very grateful for. So I'm going to unbox this thing and start testing it out, get into my first impressions. Now this I am very excited for. Look at that. I just know that is gonna save me at least two weeks of my life. So I just tried out some third person angles and it looks so sick and that flip out screen helps so much. I'm literally able to see the shot as I'm riding which probably isn't safe but it's good to set up the shot and be confident about the shot and then continue riding knowing it looks good. But so far the footage looks sick third person. Now it's time for the real test, hooking it up to the helmet and moto vlogging. So now I'm going to quickly run through the moto vlog setup I've created for my Ace Pro. I'm going to make a proper video explaining the setup and all the settings and everything like that but we're just going to quickly run through it now. So start the setup off and probably the most important for me at least is ND filters. These are the ND filters that Insta360 sell. They teamed up with Freewell. Inside there is ND8, ND16, ND32, and a polarizer. What's sick about these ND filters is they are magnets. They just slot beautifully over the co-engineered Leica Insta360 Ace Pro lens. So no need to unscrew the original lens and screw a new ND filter on. It just slots right over. Personally, for me, that is so much better. I can change ND filters so much quicker. And when taking the original lens off, it can get air and moisture and dust inside of there. So never even having to take it off is a massive plus for me so i'm really happy with these magnet filters the only thing is they're like double the price of gopros ones these are 200 australian next up is the mic adapter this is crucial for when motor vlogging if you want crisp clear audio take off the side door clip the mic adapter in and you're good to go i'm using the mount from chin mounts to set up my ace pro and then screwing in the quick release magnet mount instantly click that on i'm going to grab my mic that's mounted around the helmet plug it into the mic adapter and the setup is ready to go. I'm really interested to see how this thing holds up. We're gonna put the helmet on and I guess just get straight into it, see how it looks. All right, let's go. Go for a bit of a cruise. Feels good to be back on the bike. So I've been off the bike for eight weeks now because of my collarbone surgery and yesterday was my six to eight week post appointment. He basically said the bone's looking good, it's healed well. It's got a couple more weeks until it's completely solid so I'm not fully cleared to ride. But this isn't motocross or anything, we're just cruising on the road. I want to get this Insta360 video filmed for you guys, I'm so pumped to film with this thing. So uh, yeah, we're back on the bike. It feels so good. Collarbone feels good. I'm really, really curious on how the mic sounds right now. Technically, it should sound exactly how it sounds out of the GoPro, but it is a different mic adapter. It's a different camera, so it might have a bit of a different sound, but yeah, hopefully it sounds good. Can I make this light? 
Yeah. So I'm not gonna be going through my settings in this video because I don't know how to use this camera properly yet. I've kind of just put in the settings I think are gonna look amazing with it because I'm pretty good at cameras in general, so it all applies the same to every camera. I've put in what I think looks good. I'm gonna be tweaking around throughout this video, trying out different settings and finding what I like best. So a slight problem that I do have is the fact that I only have one battery. So when this dies, the video ends. So this will be a test on how long these batteries last. Oh, look at the little doggy in the back of this car. He is chilling. All right, we're on the highway now. I wanna see how the mic handles the wind. Don't mind me, it's coming through. Three, two, one. Oh, nearly. Hold your breath. Cruising through the industrial area. That's a beautiful beach. Ooh. I've gone this way before, but I've never gone up that road that I just went past. Where that guy's going right now. Whoa. Oh, cool. I'm gonna walk up there. I wanna see what's up there. Let's park up. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Look at the island, a little house on the island. This is sick. How did I not know this is here? This is like one of the best free running spots I've seen in my life in Australia. Look at all the things to do. The lines, look at all these lines. This spot is insane. When I'm fully healed, I'm so coming here. And the view, oh. <laughs> Look at that, I wanna be them. I'm glad I came up this road. Hanging out with the boys up there, look at them all gliding in the wind. Anyway, we're gonna change the settings and get back on the road. All right, here we are, changed the settings up. We are now in ultra wide. So we should be able to get a bit more of the handlebars in view, which should look cooler for moto vlogging. All right, heading into the mountain. Hopefully ND16 also isn't too dark, we'll see. It was raining last night, so where the ground hasn't gotten any sun, it's a bit wet, so we're gonna have to take it a bit easy. stabilization turned completely off because it gives that more action-packed look and it seems like I'm going a lot faster than I am because the camera's shaking around everywhere there's motion blur because the ND filters so that's why I have stabilization off otherwise it kind of looks dull and boring if you guys are interested in getting this camera the ace pro or the ace or any other insta360 camera I actually have a link in the description that you can click to get a free accessory and it also helps me out a bunch check this view out wow it's pretty sketchy up here such a sick spot. Don't want to get too close to the edge. We were just up there. All the way over there, we rode up the mountain. So sick. All right, I'm going to get a few little cinematic shots. Me chilling up here.
that is going to do it for my real world first test of the Insta360 Ace Pro. And in conclusion, obviously this camera is sick. Taking it out on my first Moto Vlog ride, there were a few settings I needed to tweak. And with the audio, there's a setting in the camera that I didn't realize where you can actually turn the external audio output down so mine was on 0 db but you can turn it all the way down to minus 18 db so i will definitely be turning that down next time and seeing if the audio comes out better there for most of the video i had it on ultra lens mode i wish i had it on action where it's a bit wider also in the ultra lens mode it seemed to be doing like a hdr effect kind of thing and i didn't really like that it just looks super sharp and really processed but in the second half of the video where i changed the settings it looked so much nicer we're in the massive action wide view it looked a lot better for moto vlogging and the colors the image quality coming out of the camera camera looked a lot nicer to me so it took me years and years to figure out the best settings and setup to do for my GoPro mode vlog setup and even just using the GoPro in general so I'm sure it's going to take me at least a couple weeks to a month to figure out the best and most optimized settings for moto vlogging and just filming in general one more thing I'd like to add about the audio this mic jack sticks out here and when it gets hit by the wind I feel like that kind of interrupts the audio and it gives it this stutter effect when I'm talking it's going like I'm really really curious on how the mic sounds right now technically it should sound exactly how it sounds out of the gopro you probably you probably heard it in the audio but that could be just because i had it at zero db and it was clipping so next time i'm going to turn the external audio output down to probably minus 12 db and hopefully that fixes the problem the audio sounds a lot better that's it for my first impressions of the insta360 ace pro we got a bunch more videos coming out with this thing once i learn the settings completely i'm going to be uploading a moto vlog setup tutorial of this thing and uh, also testing this out at night time because the nighttime footage on this apparently is insane with the AI chip that's inside this thing, it cleans up that night footage perfectly. Apparently, I haven't done it yet. So, in a future video, we're going to be going for a full real world night vlog. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one, though. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know in the comments down below. Share this with some respect. Use my Insta360 link if you guys are interested in picking up this camera. That's it for this one. If you want more Moto vlogs, click this playlist right here. And I'll see you guys over there.